How you guys? The back here is Sparrow Meyer back with another video. I already know that I'm gonna be speaking so real dope for sure. How was your day? How do you feel? Anything that has something to do with you, how do you feel? Period. You always gotta wake up in the morning and be happy, regardless of coronavirus shit that you gotta quarantine all 24 7. Regardless if you have a job ahead of you, a shitty ass job that you don't wanna go to, that's stressing you and putting demons on your back that you. You know, you wish you can get out that predicament. Regardless of that, or regardless of you gotta wake up in the morning and, you know, do school, school work. I know that shit's stressful. I know y'all gotta wake up in the morning and do school work 24-7 on the online that you don't feel like doing. You too lazy for that shit. I know it. Regardless of that, you still gotta wake up in the morning and be happy. You still gotta put a smile on your face because God gave you that breath to wake up in the morning and feel blessed, feel good, period. And nobody else gave you that breath but God. So you have to smile and be happy for him, regardless of all this and that. You feel me? But yeah, like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment down below how you feel about this video, how you feel about your day, how you feel about anything that got done, got something to do with you, because you... You my subscriber, you like my videos, you watch my videos, you know, anything that has something to do with you, I love you, period, like, but further ado, let's get into this video. Alright man, y'all see the caption, y'all see the name, y'all see anything that has something to do with this video, the reason why you clicked on this video, I will be telling you that reason. The reason why family or people or friends don't support you, don't support your dreams, don't support your journey. Don't support your YouTube channel or your rapping or anything, bro. Anything you want to do as far as, as you. Anything. The people, the reason why people don't want to support you. And I feel like making this video because there's a lot of people out there that's so confused. Like, you know, why they're not supporting me or anything, you know. But I mean, it's just that. If they don't support you, it's just that. I don't care. It, as long as you support yourself, it doesn't matter about anybody opinion. But let me just say this. It's it's a reason why they don't support you. As a young person, it's real hard to actually accomplish your dreams and try to focus on your dream. You have to find that why. Find that why. Why do you want to do YouTube? Why do you want to be a rapper? Why do you want to do this and that? You got to find your why. If you don't have a why for what? you do find yourself quitting you will find yourself quitting because you ask yourself like why is i'm doing this like it's no point of me doing this you know you know i just go about my life but if you really want to just accomplish your dreams and do what you have to do you have to find your why if you don't have a why to what you're doing you will find yourself quitting like i said so always find your why and as you just progress as you just progress at a young age, it's, like I said, it's real hard to accomplish your dreams at a young age because people don't understand your why. People don't understand who you are. People don't understand how you feel about things. People don't understand nothing. They only understand what they understand and how they look at you. They don't know why you do this and they don't know why you do that. They don't know. Because they got their own body, they got their own perspective, they got their own mindset, they got their own heart. And they got everything. They look at things differently. Like, you look at things. You look, everybody have their different ways how they look at life. I have my way of looking at life differently. And my people have some, They my people have their ways of looking at life. And as they look at life, they look at life differently, they look at people differently. They look at you as a bad person, but you know that you're not a bad person. You know that whatever you're doing is gonna work. So they look at you differently. And as they say, you're not gonna accomplish that dream. You're not gonna accomplish that. Not It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna work. They look at life differently. Even though, like, like for example, they have people around them. Nobody ever made it out. They, nobody ever tried to accomplish their dreams or do what they had to do around them. So they going to put it on you and say, no, you can't accomplish that. You can't do what you got to do. You can't do that. No. You can't do it. Simple. 
but you can't listen to them. You have to look at life differently as you, you have your own story. As you progress trying to accomplish your dreams, you make sacrifices. You make, like, you make sacrifices as if you want to put some down to accomplish that dream, do it. But you, uh, of course, you're going to have demons or people on your back getting on you about stuff that you put on the side. Like school. If you want to accomplish your dream and you put school on the side, of course you're going to have a mother or somebody else or all this and that nagging you about the fact that you quit school and there's going to be problems on your back because the reason you quit school. But you, it's all about you. You have your own heart. You have your own mind. You have your own way of looking at life. You, if you look at it as it's really nothing and you look at it as, yes, I'm going to accomplish my dream even though I left school, it's going to happen for you. It's going to happen for you. It's all about you. The way you think can come to reality. The way you look at things can come to reality. If you make you a vision in your mind, make you a little world in your mind, it will come to reality. But if you just let people keep nagging you about the fact that you can't accomplish nothing, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. If you don't have your why, it's not going to happen. If you don't have your goals, it's not going to happen. Each day is an obstacle. Each day. You in survival mode right now. Survival mode. You have to survive each day. Each day. Why are you trying to accomplish your dreams? Each day. Keep working each day. Each day is going to be an obstacle that's making you mad, making you sad, making you depressed, making you happy or anything. Of course you're going to have obstacles because you have those things that you put on the side that you thought that's going to be good, but it's not going to be good for you in the beginning. But it's going to be good for you at the end because you will shine at the end. And them obstacles are just going to be put on the side. But back to what I was saying. Back to what I was saying as, you know, the fact that your family don't support you. They don't have to support you. They don't. You have your own mind and your own body and your own anything. You have anything that got something to do. You have to make the decision for you. It's better for you to make decisions than your mother or your sister or anything making decisions for you. You have to make decisions. You your mom, you can't let your mom make your decisions. Because you let your mom make your decisions, you're going to be just like her. Or your father. You're just going to be just like your father or your brother, anything. You let them make your decision. You let them tell you what to do. And you can't accomplish this and that. If you, if you let them tell you to do this and that. You will end up like them. They tell you to go to school. Listen, it's all part of the government. They tell you to go to school, get an education, go to college. Yeah. Look at you now. You can't accomplish your dreams. If you have a dream, go chase it. If you have a goal, try to get to it. If you have a dream, once again, go for it. You have nothing but time. You have nothing but time or your hands, especially at a young age too. I put a lot of things on the side that's hunting me right now. A lot of things on the side. I made sacrifices, made a lot of sacrifices that I never knew I was gonna actually sacrifice just to do what I wanna do and just to do something that makes me happy every day. I had to put things on the side that's really haunting me in the inside and physically every day, every day. Every day I'm trying to survive, not the fact that, I'm not saying that the fact that I have a crib on my head or whatever, I got a crib on my head. I got a phone in my hand. I got clothes on my body. I'm, I'm grateful for that, but I have to do me. I still have to do what I feel like doing. I still have to be happy with what I'm doing. You can't let nobody else guide your life. Even though if it's your mother, even though it's your brother, even though it's your father, they birthed you or whatever, I know, I understand. But you still have your own life. You still have your own happiness. You still have something going on with you. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. Once again, it's all about you. It's not about nobody else but you. It's how you look at life, not how your mother look at life for you to look at life. I don't know how to say it, but 
it's just hard. It's hard to say, but you just got to guide your life. You have your own story. You can't let nobody make your story. You can't. You can't let your father make your story. You can't let your mother make your story. You can't let no one make your story. You can't let nobody predict your story. They can't predict your story. When they see you changing, when they see you changing for the best, they don't even know, like, they ain't changing the most. They don't know your reason. They don't know your why. That's the reason why they look at you differently. That's the reason. How you look at yourself is great. But if you just pay attention to how they look at you, it will more and more become how you, how they look at you. It's going to be more and more. That's why it's, it's serious. But the more they look at you, I don't know. But you have a story. You can't let nobody else take you from that story. You can't no, let nobody predict your story or give you a story. You have your own story and you have to play your story. Go through your story. Everyone has their own story. And you make your own story. You make your own story. It's how you get it and it's how you get out of it. It's a lot of people out there that's making their own story and it's a lot, a lot of people out there letting their mother or father make their story. For a fact, it's a lot of people that's putting their dreams on a hold. And it's a lot of people that's putting their dreams on a hold. Of course, you have your dream later on, but I promise you, it's life. Life will, I promise you, life will kick ass. Life will kick your ass like hell. Next thing you know, you have children on the side of you. You ain't even know what's gonna happen. Now you can't even accomplish your dreams. Now you have to pay attention to your, your child. That's why. Put your dreams first right now. I never seen nobody else think like me. I never seen nobody else or I don't know nobody else. 15 year old actual trying to put their dreams on. Trying to put like actual connect their dreams together. Doing what they have to do. I don't know nobody at a young age. Or I don't know no other older people. I don't know nobody in my family. Nobody. I, that's why I know that I'm different. I know that I'm different throughout my whole family. I don't know nobody in my family that's actually trying to dream big, put their dreams in front of them and put the other things on hold. I don't know nobody in my family. That's why I know that I'm different. I'm different. I'm different from all my people in the family. I'm different. Because I made myself as, like, I did everything on my own. I, I like, I followed my, how I feel about things. I followed by how I feel about things. How I feel about this, I will do it. If I feel like I want to do it, I do it. Everybody in my, my family didn't try to accomplish their dreams. They didn't go for their dreams. Even if they go for their dreams, they quit. I got a cousin that sings. And she don't even believe in her dreams. She don't believe that she can actually get in the studio as she's seen. That's why I just like, yes, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for God. I'm thankful for every day. Thankful for, for my mindset. And, you know, I'm the youngest in the whole group. I got six, six sisters and brothers. I got six siblings. And all of them six siblings, I'm here. The seven. The youngest out of all of them. I got a different mindset out of all of them. My mindset is real big and real, real, real wild. Can't nobody compare me to nobody. Nobody. Because I got a different mindset and I feel how I feel about different things and different from other people. This is my dream. This is how I feel about my dreams. And I want to accomplish it now. Regardless if I have to wake up in the morning and do this and that, I'm still finna try to accomplish my dream, period, point blank. I'm doing this for me, not for nobody else. This is, I got my why. What's your why? Seriously, gotta find your why. Gotta find your why. 
But man, I'm just making this video for y'all young folks. Cause it's not even the grown ups no more. It's not even about the grown ups no more. Cause they ain't really doing nothing. It's about the young ones. The young ones that's really trying to get some. If you got a dream, chase it now. Because when you get older, you have responsibilities. And the responsibilities will take you from them dreams. Work. All this and that. You have to work 24 7. So I'm saying. Do it now. Do it now. That's all I got to say. Do it now. Because when you do it now, the results will happen later. When you get 18, when you get 19, when you get 20, them results will come in. And it will show you that that hard work paid off. The sacrifices that you took paid off. You feel? Do what you got to do right now. It's all about the young ones right now. It's not about the older ones because they already did. They, they already had their turn. But they put their turn on the side, and now it's for the young ones that's really trying to do some. You feel me? Because our, us young people is, we, we the future. We the future. 15, 16, 17. We are the future. Younger than that, we are the future. Period. Am I right or wrong? We are the future. Am I right or wrong? Am I right? All right. Oh y'all man, I just had to make this video for y'all, for y'all people, for y'all young folks, like I said. But further ado, man, I'm finna end this video. Y'all, peace.